All right, so the first thing we need to do is get these engine shrouds off. I'll start by um, removing the side one. This motor is put together with mainly eights and 10 millimeters. So you got these two, you get this fan off. To love, four bolts. Get that guy out of the way. I always like to just uh, keep all the bolts together, that way you don't misplace it. There is uh, some eight millimeter bolts here, and then you've got this uh, um, emission control. You can block that off if you want. Actually, I'd recommend it because you're gonna get some backfire on your three exhaust with this installed. Um, so you can, they sell little uh, caps. We have them on our website, rollingwrenchdenver.com, or you can do the cheap way and just pinch off the um, chrome hose with a uh, some pair of dikes. So, and then there's four on the head. Do it in a cross pattern. Just loosen these in a cross pattern. Okay, should be able to pull that off. There we go. Set that aside. See this little notch right here? There's a little T mark. Hopefully you can see that. There's a T. And that mark has to line up with this mark here. So we'll just move it ever so slightly. There we go. It's lined up. Just like that. The lines line directly up with this line. And then remember we're at the top dead center on the flywheel mark. Cam lobes are down. You want to make sure that your cam line is lined up, which it is still. And over here, we're on the T mark. Very, very important. You want to get a feeler gauge. Looks like this. There's a bunch of different ones. See how loose those valves are? Then you've got a nine millimeter. This is a valve tool. See, you've got this square top. So basically what I'm gonna do is this is nice because you can loosen it with this guy. So I'll loosen it down, super tight, give a little tap. Okay, so now, now that it's loose, I can move this valve adjustment all around. And see what I'm doing, I'm just moving this nut here. So what I'm gonna do is put my 0 0.005, or I mean 0 0.004. You want it to be between 0 0.004 and 0 0.005. Any of those are good. I always set it to 0 0.004. And you just want to, you should be able to drag it in and out. And you feel it dragging. This is where this tool comes in handy real nice. So I'm just gonna stick, I'm, I'm holding with one hand here and spinning with this guy. Then I know, when I, once I know I have it adjusted correctly, see I'm just gonna hold this so it doesn't move and tighten just like that. If it falls out, that's good, because that means it's adjusted correctly. You just want to double check it, though, by sliding your feeler gauge in. Like that. And we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Down here, we want to do this one, too. Same procedure. Then we'll turn the motor over a few times, make sure the cam lobes are down, and then the T-mark is on the top dead center, and then recheck them. That's a valve adjustment. All right, now we're ready for our valve cover again. I'm gonna leave all of this uh, mission stuff on. And then so we're just gonna put all this back on the way that we found it. 